What's going on, Fortnite fans? My name's Luke the Notable, and in this video, we're gonna be returning to old school Fortnite. I recently unearthed an ancient hard drive, and it happened to have some ancient Fortnite games on it. These are back from when I first started playing Fortnite. They're some of my first experiences with the game. I forgot I even had these files, and that's really cool because Fortnite changes all the time. We'll never be able to play this version of Fortnite again. So I thought it would be a perfect time to showcase this old gameplay, and maybe see just how far Fortnite's come. I got a nice even 60 games for you here, so there's quite a lot to talk about. So before this intro gets a little bit too old, let's return to old school Fortnite. Here it is, game number one. It might look a little different if you've played Fortnite recently. What you're watching right now is my oldest recorded Fortnite game. It took place on the 6th of February, 2018, at three in the morning for some reason. This game took place in mid to late season two. However, I had played Fortnite before. Though by my default skin, it doesn't really look like it. Like pretty much everyone who plays Fortnite for the first time, I had no idea how to build. I did know how to shoot though. It's the one thing that's pretty standard across all video games. Oh no, the other guy's building. He must know what he's doing. Pay attention, you're about to see some real fast building. Wow, look at that, I'm already at max height. This is literally just a 10 minute fight of us peeking across one stair. I hid in the shack of shame, which at this time I called the shack of hope. And I got one kill with a silenced pistol. I would never use that thing today. But while looting, I was caught out in the open and my instincts told me to run for cover. Should have built. Definitely should have just built. That's what the whole game's about. Anyway, game two, same day, about 4.30 in the morning, defaulting in the same location. Look at me, farming materials that I won't use because I don't build. Oh, not even kidding you. I destroyed the entire house, like the whole thing. I bet you can guess what happens. I got shot in the back. Then while defending myself, didn't use a single material. Hey, we got Jonesy for game three. Fortnite looks a lot different. Look at the landscape. Look at the map. Whoa. Hey, hey, we're going tilted. There was a massive update to Fortnite around mid season two that gave us tilted towers and a couple other named locations. Oh, look, a chest. Whatever could be inside. Oh, uh, well, that's disappointing. Anyway, I left tilted towers on foot because there's no vehicles. I like how this house by Greasy Grove survived even today. But you know who didn't survive? This default who I found inside. He was just about as good as me. But pretty soon after another default heard the commotion. We struggled to kill each other for a little bit and he walked away with the loot. That's just, it's beautiful. Look at it. Old Loot Lake. What even is my loadout? Grenades, a burst, and a scope to so- What? You guys know what that is? Yeah, that's Dusty Depot. I can't get over the fact that if I crouch walked in the final circle like this today, I'd be clapped immediately. Oh, I, I guess I almost did. Okay, serve me right. I'm not sure what timeline this is, but minigun versus scoped assault rifle should not end like this. Awesome, got the kill. Perfect time to heal out in the open. Doing all this stuff in the open isn't bravery. I just don't know any better. Ah, I'm being shot in the open. Whatever should I do? Time to heal up? I don't know how no one shot me. This is probably one of my first encounters with the minigun. While it didn't work out, it was love at first sight. Game five, I was minding my own business, farming materials that I wouldn't use when I was sniped. And I'm not sure how, but with a gray rifle, I was able to kill that black knight. I was left on three health, but luckily was able to snipe another default friend in the back. He had some bandages, and I ran into good old Dusty Depot to heal. Guys, the factories! Look at them. Okay, you walk into the factories, you open a door, you see a trap, don't go inside. Why would you go inside that? Game six, we got one kill in Tomato Town, the cheesy way. Oh, wailing. Look at you. Just look at you. Can we get an F in the chat for all these awesome locations that are just gone now? Oh, look at this little default. He's just as scared as I am. He noticed me, but just ran straight at me with the minigun. Didn't build or anything, so I shot him. Now listen, kids, don't be racist. This is another default. They just look the same. I guess using a great pump, I was able to take out this man using a minigun. All the loot just went to a big pile. I was too scared to go pick it up. And you know, sitting in the open, scared and vulnerable. There's no way to win a Fortnite game. The guy that killed me was shot down from a sky base in a time before gliders. All right, I guess we're watching this guy now. He crouch walked into the final circle and it didn't go well. And the defaulty that killed him had to push up against the player with a metal base and a rocket launcher. Now it's game seven and we're in season three. Though not too much time has passed, so I'm not that much better. And we're dropping tilted again. I guess I had high hopes. This house was occupied by another default skin. And after a short argument, I died. Back to Tilted in game eight, landed L's and got a kill on a guy in fish. He wasn't moving. I got another kill on a player crouch walking in the open. I'm noticing a theme here. Dropped my regular rifle for a scoped assault rifle. I must not have yet known it was trash. Why did I land Tilted so many times? At least I got a shotgun in this game, so there's that. I don't know what these games are for. It's just me dropping Tilted. But luckily, I was pretty much alone in- Oh no! 
Like I said, don't know why I'm going tilted. I'm just a little default. I was gonna be fighting over the clock tower in this one. Luckily, I was able to get the gun and spray down this Rust Lord. I also laggily sprayed down another contestant. Yeah, even back in season three, Fortnite was a very pretty game to look at. Looking back, season three, even season two Fortnite was a very simple map, but somehow it was able to make us all fall in love with it. I pretty much handled this game. I was on top of a mountain. The other players didn't have a chance and it took about 30 minutes, but I was able to build a fort in Fortnite. Oh no, how could this happen? My impenetrable fortress. The other player had a rocket launcher and I had no experience dealing with something like this. So like a real man, I stood in the open and sprayed bullets into his general direction until I died. Yeah, let's see how he does. Looks like he can sort of build a little bit. In the end, he stuck to his defaulty ways, hiding behind a tree. He tried to push the only other player in the match's fort, but he didn't do too well, mostly because he didn't build. But I guess neither did the other guy. Whatever, we're all defaults. I wasn't recording for the start of game 11, but I made it out of Tilted with one kill. Somehow I wasn't murdered and even found a minigun. As the circle got smaller, I default danced down to Fatal Fields. Fatal hasn't changed much, more crops if anything. I was trying to stay as absolutely silent as possible, but apparently this player heard me. I panicked and prepared myself for death, but luckily someone else shot him and then they shot me. I put my faith in the minigun, but it didn't work. Started the recording late in game 12, again. I made it to Salty Springs, but unfortunately didn't make it much further. Ah, game 13, we're going back to Tilted. I dropped Basketball Court, which if you didn't know was my favorite place to drop in Tilted Towers. But of course, this game is not the reason. It's my favorite drop. I forgot how long you laid on the ground back then. Next game, Tilted Towers, oh no. As you can probably tell, I'm building on the Combat Pro button layout. I'm pretty sure now the default is Builder Pro, and for good reason. Combat Pro's not very good for building. But at this time, I wasn't really that good anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I had a Boogie Bomb. I probably should have used it. Anything's better than what I did. Next game, I dropped Salty Springs for no particular reason. I was able to use this lovely rock as cover to get one kill. Later on in the game, I sort of hid inside this bush and I was here for a while. Now it's nighttime. Crouch walked my way into an encounter with a man with a rocket launcher. I hit him with a fat 76 and then pulled out my building, which totally got me killed. I dropped Tilted Towers again in game 16 and my only defense was impulse grenades. I was able to artfully and skillfully get away, but like many of my defaulty brothers, I was quickly gunned down. Game 17 is a quick one. I got the chest open and that was about all I did. Interestingly, game 18 is one of the only clips to have loading screen footage. Look at it. It's so old. Don't get confused though. I'm Ramirez in this one. I just keep imagining going back with my Fortnite skill now. I would have clapped everyone in this entire lobby. I can't tell for sure if I saw this trap or not, but I ran through it and everything was fine until this guy shot me. He had a skin. I had no chance. I dropped Salty Springs in game 19 and encountered another default in the crack house. I waddled into the basement, opened up a chest and found a gun, which I used to spray down my attacker. Then I teabagged him. I didn't have many dances at this time. I was farming this tree when, get this, another default attacked me. I even hit a nice shot, but wasn't able to get the kill. I barely lived in game 20, but I did live. Luckily, I was able to heal up and even find a golden scar. Then about two seconds later, I was shot in the back. Game 21 doesn't start up until I'm heavily in the final circle. This was played in the duos playlist, and right now it's a one on two. I'm just hoping those other two guys don't see me right now. They did. Hey guys, check this one out. Game 22, I have a skin. Whoa, still dropping into tilt towers. I thought this default didn't have a gun, but he did have a gun and skill. Game 23 doesn't exist. It's just footage of me on the loading screen with this guy, Trillis Frick. Game 24, from the safety of this tree, I watched another player destroy an entire house. Then I shot him in the back. It's not like I'm actually going to use these materials for anything. And I didn't even get the chance to use the materials in this game. I was sniped. Spent most of game 25 wading through the water. Just bunny hop. I want you all to know this was very hard to watch. Anyone else remember that weird time in Fortnite where there was a crossbow but no zombies? Now this gameplay I actually know the purpose of. I'm cataloging all of the items that I get from these chests. None of this footage was ever meant to be used in a video like this, which is part of the reason it's lost footage. But now I think it's just really cool to see how much Fortnite has changed and how much I've changed as a player. I went down so easy in that one. This game's labeled Nice Fort. We'll see. You know, it looks like I kind of just extended the shack of shame a little bit. I don't know if I'd call this a nice fort. It's close. Oh yeah, editing skills for days. Definitely could hear a guy on top of me. So I destroyed the back wall and gave him the business. I then bravely pushed down to kill him, missed my shot, and died. These games are way before the first Salty Springs 100 drops, but I can definitely see myself gravitating towards the area. At the time, I thought I could get good by learning how to kill, but really gotta learn how to build. Still got this guy. Later on, I got shot in the streets, and instead of building, ran a couple furlongs to this car for cover. I ended up putting up a good fight. He didn't take me down that easily. Game 28 takes place in that 
life teams of 20 mode. You know, I'm just gonna put a still frame of the map here, just in case anyone wants to pause and take a look. Anyway, like a lot of these games, I dropped Tilted and didn't last long. I really did like this 20v20v20v20v20 20 20 20 20 20 20 mode. It was a lot of fun. Even though in this game without a gun, I got downed by a trap. Help! Anyone, please! I'll never bully another default again. I still had no gun, though, and I was on the east side. Yeah, those two killed the default, then they came over and killed me. I got a gun pretty quickly in game 30, and was attacked- Oh, wait, no, he's my friend. Cool. It was Tilted Towers, so just by throwing a couple grenades, I was able to pick up four kills. I got a couple extra kills just shooting into the madness. Look at all that loot, by the way. I'm still not really building, but at least by now I'm getting- <laughs> Even by game 31, I'm pretty sure I was not ready to be dropping into Tilted Towers. But you know, it's still kind of nice to look back on these games. I was just so terrible. Hey, good news is we're going to Retail Row in game 32. Can't say I never dropped there. I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I find Mega Mall way cooler. Hey, do you guys remember Smoke Grenades? Yeah, I didn't think so. They weren't in the game long. And you know, I wasn't in this game for very long either. Everything was going fine in game 33, until nothing was fine! And you know what, at this point in my Fortnite career, if another player had a rocket launcher, I was good as dead. I say pleasant part. You know, I really miss when the pickaxe only did 10 damage. You could really savor that moment when the other player went down. But in this game, I went down too. Yeah, this default took his sweet, sweet time. I really don't think Pleasant Park has ever been pleasant. Game 35 decided to drop Retail Row again. And so did all of these other players. Luckily, I got the gun, but only ended up shooting at my teammate. A lot of guys crouch walking in the streets. That might work in Call of Duty, but not Fortnite. Euthanized the default skin, and then also pretty quickly got killed myself. But that's Retail Row for you. Guys, I don't, I don't know if my heart can take it. We're dropping Wailing Woods. This was back when Wailing Woods was a massive maze and not just a pile of rubble. Also, check out the emote wheel. Oh yes, this 20v20v20v20v20 20 v 20 v 20 v 20 mode was a lot of fun. I'd love to see it come back. Even though sadly, I don't think I win a single game in all of these drops, but I'm pretty bad, so that makes sense. See, I'm no bueno. All right, now we're playing on Torz's account. I'm still cataloging the chests. I just wanted to make sure to get a fresh account to do it. Started off Torz's account the old fashioned way by killing an unarmed default. And then pretty predictably, I got killed by a Rustlord. Pleasant park really hasn't changed that much, and I'm honestly surprised. It's pretty simple. Hey, you got a nice chest here, chug jug, and a blue rocket launcher. These games take place in April of 2018, just about two months after I first started playing. I'm not good. Zero percent good. I can hardly build. But I do have 43 rockets. What? That's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work! I died in an open field, just like my forefathers. Here's game 39. It's nothing special. You know, season three Fortnite was just a simpler time. No one built, well, at least no one built well. I'm not sure anyone had any idea what they were doing. Look at this guy. I hit him with the only dance I could, the default dance. He stood there in awe for a brief moment until I shot him. And against another rogue agent later on, I fumbled a little bit, but still got the kill. However, later in the game, when I came across a John Wick, I had no chance. I don't remember exactly when they changed this, but there used to be a great drop spot here with three chests. Oh yes! I can see it in the distance! The Shack of Hope! I was attacked by a John Wick, who obviously knew how to build. Most of them do. I don't know what you guys are expecting here. I'm just the default. Oh, I know you've been waiting for it. Yep, we're dropping Moisty Mire. Just kidding, I dropped incorrectly. Now we're at the prison. Nostalgia! Unnamed locations were just better back then. It's a fact. Oh, okay. I ended up wandering into Moisty. Cool, we get to see it. Moisty is kind of like whaling, only there's water everywhere. But at least I know to bunny hop now. Because of the storm, I wasn't able to stay long, but I did find a player and kill him. You can tell I'm way better in this game versus game number one, but I'm still sticking to my defaulty ways. And of course, doing that will generally get you killed. Game 43, I had all of Pleasant Park to myself. Still somehow managed to leave with some met tier loot. Found a supply drop and found a homing rocket launcher. I don't think I'm qualified for this. Well, let's see if my Modern Warfare 2 skills kick in. Looking back, the weapon isn't that deadly. Pretty easy to build up against. Just gotta build one box. I ran out of rockets and the other player attacked me, but I'm not a six year old. I'm a six and a half year old. All right, now it's a one versus one, and I'm so terrified you can't even imagine. Just like when my mom threw me in the river, I learned to swim pretty quick out here on my own. But at the end of the day, I was a six and a half year old, and he was an eight year old. By the time I left Pleasant Park in game 44, the storm was already upon me, but I had three kills. I was also able to use my sniper rifle to get a fourth. Some guy had a homing rocket launcher. I was very scared, but I did have to go through him to get to the final circle, and I was already on pretty low health. There were still seven people left. I didn't have much chance. Game 45 is just footage of me buying 
moving towards the battle pass. No longer a pure default. With this new skin, I felt ready to conquer the world in game 46. And I did, using my default pickaxe and shotgun to take out this player. Let him know who you is deep down inside your heart every time you kill him. This one was gonna end in a duel between space skins on top of Frank, and I left the planet. I had a crossbow in game 47, and this player was standing perfectly still. Too bad the crossbow's trash. Yeah, pump works, whatever. And this is probably the longest scoped assault rifle kill in all of Fortnite history. Oh, that's a John Wick, I'm so scared, even though I'm literally shooting him. I'm pretty sure this one bought it with V-Bucks. Later on, I was running towards the safety of the final circle when another player came out of nowhere. We both sprayed each other down, and he won. Game 48 just shows the guy that killed me. He was a little bit more spacey. Game 49, I dropped Haunted Hills. It's another location that hasn't really changed much. I've never gone here 100 times. I don't know if I ever will, but it is a great location. I thought I was being smart when I jumped down on this default, but I didn't pull the trigger. And then when I did, it was too late. He came out fighting, and I didn't make it. It's amazing we're on game 50 and haven't had a single good one. And just by the look of my loop, this one doesn't look like it's gonna go much better. I shot at a player in the streets and missed pretty much every shot. And then I dropped down to the low ground. It would be a mistake I would totally regret. By that point, we were just two potatoes smashing into each other. He won. There's quite a lot that goes through one's mind when you drop into a game of Fortnite and don't have a gun. Mostly, how am I gonna survive this now that this player with the scar knows I'm here? Thanks to my expert door maneuvering skills, I was able to check several different loot spawns, didn't find anything, and died. If you haven't been able to tell, these games are sort of where that whole hundred drops concept came from. Dropping somewhere a bunch, trying to learn the location and get better at the game. I was dropping here to learn about chests, and I mostly just dropped here because I knew the layout of Pleasant Park. And in game 52, I was alone in Pleasant Park, so I got some nice stuff, including a purple scar, even though in my hands it won't mean much. There's also a ton of running in these games. The lack of vehicles is really evident. I was minding my own business when a player attacked me from behind. I tanked a couple shots to make sure my boogie bomb would hit. I didn't have a shotgun, but I sprayed him down good, and a little luckily. Running for literally dead. I had a fort in this one, which is more than most games, if not all of them. But eventually I did have to move. Good thing I found this shack of hope. Yep, then I found a bush, using all the newbie methods in this one. Well, this fort looks super intimidating. Wonder if I'll find anyone inside. Oh, hey little default. How you doing? Just for the record, hiding in a fort that is not yours is a bad idea. I'm not even lying when I say 100% of these games would have had better outcomes if I had just built. And we gotta skip over to game 55, because game 54 wouldn't open. Must be corrupted or something. Strange. It's never happened before. When's the last time you heard the name Anarchy Acres? It's probably been a while. I'm not racist when I say it's pretty much the same as Fatal Fields, like they were almost identical. I really don't think I knew how boogie bombs worked. You're supposed to shoot the player with a shotgun or something that does a ton of damage, not an SMG. They're gonna be able to shoot back at you. Though luckily without a plan, I got a kill. You gotta love the heavy shotgun. This thing had some serious range. Admittedly, it wasn't the best on damage, but it's still a great weapon. Oh yes, finally, a bush. Saw a player and tried to get a sneaky snipe, but it missed. Then he turned to shoot me, I didn't build, and he totally killed me. Game 56, another pleasant park drop. Awesome. I dropped into the middle, which I don't recommend ever. Even today, it's totally dumb. I did it anyway, and I lived. Shame on me. I finally did end up getting that boogie bomb technique down. You gotta use a shotgun. A shotgun. See? Easy. Other than that default, I had Pleasant Park all to myself. Still left with some okay loot. You gotta remember I wasn't that sweaty of a player during these drops. I didn't even jump with the Y button yet. Shuffling slowly to Salty Springs, and I saw a fight that just ended. And I killed the victor. Oh, golly, look at all these materials I'm not gonna use. I was severely injured, and I could see a chug jug in this open field, but I'm a coward and settled with a cozy campfire. Definitely won't get shot sitting out here in the open next to a cozy campfire. See? Absolutely blown away I was able to make it into the final circle. And it's a one versus one, but it's against the Black Knight. He was really good, and by really good I mean he built up three levels, and I didn't build at all. But hey, I got the first shot, and hit him for 130. I was pretty close. I always get a bad feeling when I drop in and it's already nighttime. Pay very close attention, Fortnite fans, because game 57 is already over. You know, I forgot they killed Frank in season 9 of Fortnite. I miss him. He was nowhere near the best house, but he definitely looked cool, and I can appreciate that. In this one, I had a blue burst, and the other player had a gold scar, but he didn't have to take the L on me, man, come on. Started off game 59 with a really nice deagle shot, and I even got another one. Oh wow, look at this old vending machine. 
disgusting. Yeah, in the end of this one, I fought a default when the storm was encroaching upon both of us. And even though I had a blue rocket launcher, I still died. Game 60 doesn't start until pretty much the end. But I was living the good life, as you could tell. You gotta understand, guys, the bush was highly effective in Season 3. It's not really like I knew how to build or anything. And you know, with how derpy pretty much everyone played at this time, sometimes all you needed to win was a bush. I did lots of hiding, but for no particular reason. This is just how I played at the time. I lost the bush when I went into the storm a little bit. I guess I didn't know that happened. Bushless and scared, I crouch walked into the final circle. Ooh. Yeah, that looks cozy. When it finally did come time to do the business, I had to crouch walk into a circle with four other people. As you can tell, I was horribly scared and up way higher than I thought I was. And that's it. I only had 60 games. That's all there is and all there ever will be. Fortnite has definitely changed a lot and this video makes that pretty evident. And while it is a little bit sad that we'll never see some of these locations again, it is kind of nice that we can look back on them fondly. If you liked the video and want to support me with every V-Buck purchase, use my supporter creator code, Luke-TheNotable, in the Fortnite item shop. Also, also, make sure to subscribe to my channel, it's totally free, and you'll stay up to date on new videos coming out. Click that little LTN logo on the screen right now to subscribe instantly. Thank you all for watching, please stay notable, and I'll see you in the next video.